like to come out regularly to Kenya because I have a real interest in the megafauna. Photographically, I started out as a very poor and frustrated landscape photographer. When I was sort of waiting for the right light and the clouds and everything to sort of come together, I was actually more interested in the wildlife that was around me and that began to make me change my direction. You can be out there for days and days and really not get anything and then you'll get 15 seconds of magic, but it's worth every hour that you've spent out there in the wet and in the cold. I tend not to use a tripod, I find them quite restrictive. When things happen in front of you, they happen so quickly. Being able to handhold the camera with the viewfinder up to my eye makes a massive amount of difference. And the X-T4 with the IBIS is rock solid. Telephoto lenses are traditionally very heavy and it's very easy to get camera shake. The stability makes a huge difference when a bit of muscle ache begins to set in. I do have a, a bit of a process when I'm going out to take a photograph. It's about getting into a, a good position. Working with a qualified guide like Boston has its huge advantages. He knows where the wildlife is. He's got extremely good sense of his surroundings and it, it just makes for an enjoyable experience, not just for me, but also when I'm doing a safari with guests, it helps for them as well. The image quality of the Fujifilm X-T4 is exceptional. We've had some amazing results and the camera's just performed, for me, perfectly. The autofocus is noticeably more snappy, it's quicker to respond and it holds focus much more efficiently. The battery life is fantastic. Having the confidence that your batteries are not going to run out when the action happens can make a huge difference when the action does start it can be over very quickly so the burst mode of the Fujifilm X-T4 15 frames per second is incredible. The new slow motion frame rates that have been introduced to the Fujifilm X-T4 now enable me to capture the minute detail. Every hair movement is just caught beautifully now but when these animals start running I think that's where you really really see the beauty of them. Having come from the X-T3, I can really see the improvements. Prior to coming out here, I'd never done a safari before, and now it's at the top of my list to come back again. Importantly, it's not just about the lions and the elephants and the rest of the big five. It's about the whole ecosystem, you know, the gazelles, the impalas, the warthogs, and the bird life too. It's amazing that these animals exist and uh, long may that continue.